they can take part of the Passover. Go ahead. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised. So he's telling the stranger, if you come under the banner of Israel, for the Passover, let all your males be circumcised. No males have to be circumcised. That's the first covenant he gave with Abraham. Go ahead. Start that over. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all the males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. Pretty, that's pretty straight right there. No one suffers our purpose either of it. And make sure you understand this for every male, everybody. It ain't just the law of Israel. He's going to tell you here. Go ahead. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. So we only have one law. You know, most people say, well, that's the law for the Jews. We for the laws of the Christians. Show me the laws of the Christians. How stupid is that? It's one law. There ain't no separation of Jews and Christians. You sound ignorant when you say stuff like you don't understand the scripture. It's crazy. But this is what we must do. Understand, because when look at the young people here, y'all gonna grow up someday to be older too. Y'all gotta teach y'all kids. You gotta make sure you if you have a son, he gotta be circumcised. And the sooner you get it, the better. Because Abraham was like 97 years old, boy, we got here circumcised. Boy, that had to be serious. <laughs> you got to go through that pain again? What no anesthesia back then? Yeah. What no pain medicine back then? You got to get cut down there? But this is what we must do. All males. Females, you got to understand too. If you have a male child, get him circumcised on the eight days. So when he's a child, he won't even... Remember, because I don't remember. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I'll show you some one quick thing here. And this will be the last one. Then we're going to take the pass on. Take the great one. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. It's a lot more I could have went into, but I had to cut it. your mind messed up. And the reason why I tell people this is because a lot of stuff going on in your mind, you need to get your head right before you take this. Verse 27, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 27. I'll show you why. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So you want to take them I and mean, you got your sinful nature or something you dealing with your mind, you ain't forgave somebody or anything that goes on, you need to clear it up. Mm -hmm. Or don't take it. This is the reason why. Go ahead. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Go ahead. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. They ain't talking about going to bed. They're talking about death. So you take this on word and not have your mind straight with this, man, you could die. Go ahead. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So we got to judge ourselves first. So he won't judge us. Come on, brother. Go ahead and get your stuff right. Go ahead. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. He said, chastened of the Lord. You're being corrected when you judge yourself. You won't be condemned. You go out and say, look, I know I'm, I'm messed up. I'm saying, let me go ahead and God forgive me. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing so important that you can just mess your body up for doing this. Go ahead. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, Tarry, you come together to eat, tarry one for another. Mm -hmm. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, 
that ye come together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when they come. Yes, sir. When they come. So well, they're going to end it before we get to the Passover. But I want us to stay in the faith ruling. We're going to... Um,